The Obama administration conceded today that the Supreme Court does have the power to overturn the new health care law. The court heard arguments last week over whether the law is constitutional. A federal appeals court demanded an explanation by noon today of what the president meant this week when he suggested that the Supreme Court should think twice about overturning the law. Here's Jan Crawford. Great jobs and it's gonna the controversy started on Monday when the president US said experience. it would be unprecedented for the Supreme Court to strike down the health care law. The next day in a Houston courtroom, federal appeals court judge Jerry Smith told a lawyer for the Justice Department. Uh, that has troubled uh, a number of people who have read it as somehow a challenge to the federal courts or to their authority or to the appropriateness of the concept of judicial review, and that's not a small matter. The appeals court demanded to know if the president was questioning the justice's power to decide the case. And this afternoon, the administration delivered a terse response. In a two and a half page letter, Attorney General Eric Holder told the appeals court there is no dispute. Courts have the power to decide the constitutionality of federal laws. But Holder suggested the court should take a back seat, arguing acts of Congress are presumptively constitutional and that there was a deference due to Congress when the courts are involved. The president, a former constitutional law professor, this week has tried to clarify his initial remarks, saying he meant it would be unprecedented in the modern era in a case challenging Congress's power to pass economic legislation. But he continued to insist the health care law is constitutional as the justices weigh whether to strike down his signature achievement with a decision that would come in the middle of his reelection campaign. Today, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said the president already had gone too far and was undermining the court. So I would respectfully suggest the president needs to back off. Back off. But as the controversy this week shows, Scott, a fight with the court is risky. The public historically has viewed the court favorably. Richard Nixon, of course, campaigned against the court in 1968. But the last time a Democrat made it a campaign issue was William Jennings Bryan back in 1896, and he lost. Jan, remind us, when do you think the court is going to make a ruling on the health care law? Oh, I don't think we'll have a ruling in this case before the end of June. So they've got a couple more months of skirmishing before the court finally gets to have its say. And Scott, it's important to remember that no matter what the president says about this case or what the Republicans say, it's the Supreme Court that gets the last word. Thanks, Jen.